I think it was about five years old uh, when the abuse started. It was my grandfather and he was a retired pastor and well loved and, and uh, he had done really good things. But he had also done some really bad things. Statistics tell us that one in four women and one in six men have been sexually abused by the time they turn 18 years of age. That means 20.5% of your congregation are sexual abuse survivors. This work is really important for the church because the church should be the safest place for survivors of abuse. The church really needs to be the first place that says, come to us, we will protect you, we will show you compassion just as Christ has done. Grace is a nonprofit that was started to provide training and education for faith-based communities to help them address and respond to the issues of abuse. We do that through the Safeguarding Initiative, we do that through providing consultations and investigations and curriculum. One of the ways Grace is committed to not only serving reported survivors, but also churches, is by providing independent investigative services for those churches where survivors have stepped forward to disclose abuse. Investigations are important for an institution because it shows that they care about survivors. I think it can give survivors hope in places where they have felt hopeless for so long. On a prevention aspect, Grace has by far the most robust training program available. And what I appreciate most as a survivor and a survivor advocate is that Grace goes to the heart of the issue. One of the most comprehensive ways of helping churches prevent abuse within their communities is through the GRACE Safeguarding Certification Initiative, an initiative that trains and equips every demographic within that faith community on abuse and how to prevent it. Having a place where I can go personally to a, a group of people who actually have wisdom, they've seen this before, they know the things to do, the things not to do, that's a huge gift to a pastor. The heart of the Grace Safeguarding Certification Initiative is taking the words of Jesus as the foundation and working together to create a culture on that foundation where we're always prioritizing the safety of those who are vulnerable. An investment into the organization of Grace is an investment into the future. It's also an investment into the body of Christ as a whole. Grace's work is really transformative in that it offers tangible elements. It teaches people tangible skills. It gives churches, it gives organizations tangible things that they can do as they are working to educate, equip, empower churches and survivors. It's very difficult to find those who are wedding a deeply biblical and theological approach to child protection, and those who are deeply immersed in the literature of abuse prevention expertise, and that's deeply practical, and we take an approach at Grace that really focuses on both. I love that Grace comes at this with a perspective of God's Word and that God is good, holy, compassionate, empathetic towards survivors and that justice is necessary. The work that Grace does is critical for the prevention of this kind of thing and the only way that it's going to be prevented is for people to understand and to know the dynamics of what's going on. The work that Grace does is so important for survivors because it is a lifeline to hope. As a little girl that has experienced that, there are times that you kind of think, you know, does God even care? And in the midst of all of this, it was just an affirmation to me that God hadn't forgotten. He hadn't forgotten about me, and He hasn't forgotten about the victims. And. Um, I will be forever grateful to Boz and to, for Grace for that.